if I could wave a magic wand and get rid of, say, 20% of your to-do list, or maybe even 30% of your to-do list, or how about if I could wave a magic wand and have everything just happen in exact perfect timing, so you don't have to rush anymore, everything just happens in a really beautiful way. (laughs) Wouldn't that be fabulous? Well, today, I am going to share with you my tips and tools on exactly how to do that, and I know you're going to love it. This is Zen in a Moment, the podcast where you can learn to train your brain to stop stressing forever and be the cool, awesome person you know you can be. I provide tips and strategies that move you from stressed out to in the flow. By in the flow, I mean feeling light, open, and wise. I'm your host, Zen Cryer to Brooke, stress as guidance expert. All right, man, this is like one of my favorite favorites. And I, I know I say that all the time because I love these tools. I use them in my life regularly. But this one I use to get into the flow, to really get as much done as possible. You know, those incredibly productive days where you're just moving along and everything feels so good. And you, you end your day and you look around and you think, God, I got a lot done today. Okay, well, this is my way of making that happen. So I'm going to be sharing with you, you're going to be using your internal guidance system. So once again, if you have not felt your internal guidance system, somebody sent you this, go to zeninamoment.com. There's a video there where I walk you through a very quick little exercise where you can feel your internal guidance system. That's right. You can actually physically feel this experience inside of you. It's happening all day long in your life and... It is showing up like stress when you feel worry, fear, anxiety, overwhelm, that sensation of rushing, frustration, irritation, exhaustion. These experiences are closing, and that means that you feel a tightness in the center of your your body, a, a sick lumpy feeling in your solar plex area. And that means that what you're thinking is not true or not going to happen. Now, here's the exercise to clear things out of your list. What you do is, is you sit down and you write out everything that you need to do. All right. And just every single thing I need to pick up the dry cleaning. I need to get the kids. I need to go to the grocery store. I need to organize dinner. I need to finish this project at work. I need to contact this person and start this ball rolling. You know, you just write every single thing down. And then you do what I call dropping into your body, dropping into your listening, which is you feel your feet and then your hands and you listen to the room around you. And this is also present in the, in the, podcast of being mindful, like really being able to drop into your body and be present. And you, as you're feeling your feet and your hands and your tailbone sitting there, you go through and you think each particular thought. I need to pick up the dry cleaning. And you notice if you feel a lightening, no sensation or a tightening in your body. If you're feeling a light, like you get feel like there's more space in your body, I call that an opening. That is something that you need to do. That's something that you have to pay attention to. If you're feeling no sensation, leave it there. Just I put an N by it for neutral, an O for opening if you feel a lightning, and then a C for close. If you'll feel a tightening feeling, that's something that doesn't actually need to be done. Now, I, I know that that sounds crazy, but I'm going to give you a, a, a scenario that happened to me. Um, I was a consultant. I landed a really big project. I came home, and I sat down to work on it, and I was closed, meaning I, I wasn't supposed to be working on it. What opened me was clearing out my closets. (laughs) So I set about that day clearing out my closets. The next day I sat down to do the project, same thing happened. Now I'm a really, I like to get things done. I'm, I'm really hardcore A personality and I don't like to have things sitting. This was driving me crazy. This was really hard for me to just keep following my internal guidance system. But here's what happened. Four days later, my house is completely organized. It feels great. However, I haven't touched the project. The client calls and said, how far have you gotten along on that project? And I said, actually, I haven't even started. And they were like, thank God, because we're going in a completely different direction. Let me get back to you. They got back to me in a few days. I shifted gears. I hadn't wasted any of their budget. They were really happy with me. Everything was perfect. I would have been a complete waste of time to spend time on that. In the meantime, my life got so busy as a consultant that I was flying in and all over the country and flying in and out of my house and having it organized, knowing where everything was, was exactly what I needed. Your internal guidance system is like this divine traffic cop in your life. And it's letting you know, like, don't go to the post office right now. There's going to be a huge line. It'll share with you what you need to do and when you need to do it, when you need to call people, when you need to have conversations, when you need to take a nap, when you need to take time for yourself. You know, there's all of these things in our lives that we want to do. And it literally, through giving you these sensations of opening, closing, and neutral all throughout your day, as you're planning your day and you're thinking of it and organizing it in your head, it is literally giving you which way to go. 
and you begin to get into the flow, which is feeling light, open, and wise. And from that place, you actually, no matter how busy you are, you actually begin to really, truly enjoy your life. You begin to enjoy all of the productivity that you have. It's an extraordinary, extraordinary tool. Eventually, if you continue to use your IGS and you do this over and over again, where you think of your life this way, you feel into what is next to be done, what can be let go of, what needs to be amped up. Sometimes you'll get a, a real big opening that you need to jump on something and it feels good. You're energized for it. Eventually, you transition into this. You don't need to write it on a piece of paper. Eventually, this just becomes the way that you experience your life as guidance. So I'm going to share that with you. This is awesome. It really is fun. I, and so if you have this crazy day and you know you need to let go of stuff, I recommend you do it every day. But if you're in this place where you're like, ah, I can't get it all done. What do I need to do? Sit down. Write it out. Feel your feet and your hands. Feel your tailbones in that chair. And then go through each thing on your list and notice, do you feel lighter? Do you feel a neutral or do you feel a closing, tightening feeling? All right. This is Zen in a Moment. Please share these podcasts and comment below, man. Tell me how these things are working. Tell me what your overwhelm is. Tell me how, how busy you are and how crazy you feel and about your stress so that I can tune in to your needs and create podcasts and you work with your internal guidance system that's just for you. And then also please share, share, share. I am trying to get this work out. It transforms your life. It creates peace and happiness. And I want that for you and everyone around you. It just, it's just an extraordinary, amazing tool. All right. I'm super excited that you're listening. And until I get to have you in my life again, I am sending you love and blessings. <laughs>